Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna be talking about my favorite blushes right now. So if you're in beauty, you know blush is having a moment. So let's get into some of my favorite blushes. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's an easy and free way to support the channel. And we don't want you to miss out on any of the great videos I make beauty, hair, nails, skincare. There's so many different types of products and experiences we talk about and we want you to be here with us. Also, if you like this video, like the video and make sure you hit the notification bell that you way you won't miss out when I post new videos. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Please, please, please subscribe because we want you to keep coming back and uh, talking makeup with us or skincare or all the things, okay let's get into the blushes so blush in 2023 absolutely had a moment it is continuing into 2024 um love seeing the different like ombre blush looks and different blush application processes i should say like some people taking the brush blush up to the hairline um blush lighter all these different things that are coming out now and it looks really really cool so I'm gonna talk about my favorite so speaking of blush lighter I'm gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury's pink gasm beauty wand so I really really love this it is a um, the applicator is gonna look gross because I use it all the time but it is a blush and a highlighter mixed together so it really simplifies in terms of putting on multiple makeup products it looks gorgeous for deep and dark skin tones. I'm pretty sure if you're fair or medium, you could probably make this work if you just use less product, but this is gorgeous on deep and dark skin tones. Every time I wear this without fail, I get compliments. People love it, they think it looks gorgeous. This is one of my favorites. Next favorite, moving on to the ELF Camo Liquid Blush in the shade coming in hot pink. So this is a liquid blush with a dope foot applicator, um, two dots, and you'll have all the pigment that you can ever dream of. One dot for everyday wear. Um, this is a really good long-lasting blush that has worked for so many different skin tones and types. Um, whether you have um, oily skin, dry skin, you can make this work to have a gorgeous blush look. Now. Although I'm loving all my blushes, this is my fave that I'm wearing right now. This is Danessa Myricks. Ooh, what's the name of this? How is it my favorite and I don't even know the name? It's like Upsolite Blurring Balm Flush for le ch cheeks and lips. I'm pretty sure. Something similar. <laughs> But this is the shade Golden Hour. It is a bright orange shade and I used it with like the underpainting technique and I also have highlighter on too. But this looks so gorgeous with my skin tone. Like it is just the perfect blush for me if I must say so for myself. <laughs> but I really, really love this blush from Danessa Myricks. And I've had it for like almost a year and you can still see there's so much product love, so much pigment. Um, I use a dual fiber brush to... Um, apply it and um, just uh, put it on on my, on my cheek area and then I take it up to the on my hairline but I do do the underpainting so the concealer is on top so that way it has more of a natural look but you can still see that bright pigment coming through Ugh, favorite favorite I want to get more of these but this one I absolutely love another cream blush we have LYS higher standard soft matte cream blush in the shade self love shimmer i do want to try the cream thick blushes from them they look so cute but um i absolutely love this blush when i do my more natural looks um especially for like zoom calls or just everyday like more stuff you want to look more muted more natural this is what i go for and this has a shimmer in it so it is um like a blush lighter but it looks really really gorgeous on um my skin so then next I have two powder blushes which are both from Pat McGrath Labs. Um, so one is Electric Bloom 
And these have a mirror, so I'm going to just block it with my hand. So that is Electric Bloom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Like I said, all these are dirty because I use them all the time. And then next we have Cherish, um, which is a baby, almost like a mauve baby pink, if that was a color. Love, love. I absolutely wear the mess out of this from my natural looks. Um, so I love these. And these, they blend out beautiful um, because I do have oily skin. It's like they perfectly pair with the oiliness in my skin. So especially when I'm doing a no foundation look, these blushes just meld so seamlessly and look great with my skin. Um, and I really, really love them. And the payoff that you get from just a little product. They are on the pricier side, but they're some of my favorite blushes. Um, so those are my favorite um, high-end blush. Not high-end, because Elf was in there, so she was drugstore. But those are my favorite blushes that I'm using right now. A lot of them are high-end. And I do want to try more blushes when I'm working through what I got, you know, um, no makeup collections. But I'm very interested in the Patrick Ta and the One Size Girly Pop. Very interested in trying those soon. But um, for right now, these are my favorite blushes that I am wearing. If you have a favorite blush that was not mentioned in this video that you think I should try. I do have other blushes that I wear. Um, like Merit Beauty and stuff like that. But these are just the ones that I'm constantly gravitating to. But um, let me know what new blushes uh, you're trying out and why you like them in the comment section below. Okay? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be.